Ouch. You must have had a really tough year, Mr. McQueen. I'm glad you made it alive after your horrific crash. Cruz, I'm glad you did not see that. It was not a pretty sight. So how long did it take for you to get better? Four months. Wow. Very extreme there, Mr. McQueen. So can you tell me how this all happened? Well, obviously, I was struggling to keep up my pace, especially Jackson Storm being the fastest. Yeah, that Jackson Storm does not realize that you can be smarter than him. Yeah, but his words sure pierced me like a sharp needle that flattens your tires. How so? It was during the last race of the 2016 Piston Cup racing season. Hey McQueen, are you alright? Listen, don't you worry, pal. You had a good run. Enjoy your retirement! McQueen is fading! McQueen is fading! Fading fast! Those words hurt me so bad that I struggled to keep up my pace, pushing myself harder and harder, trying to be faster than what I was built for. Then I skidded across the racetrack, hit the wall, and I started flying in midair. My friends in the pit row were shocked. Sally was watching in horror. There I goes, flying in midair, Smoke was coming out, sparks flying out. I had a really big impact. Eeh, that's terrible, Mr. McQueen. I know. My friends were very worried. They had to stop the race. All the other racers were diverted to the pit row while I was being transported to the hospital. Then what happened after that? When I got fixed and put together, I was in primer. Mac transported me back home to Radiator Springs and while I was healing, I thought about my old mentor Doc Hudson when he crashed in 1994 and that when he got repaired and fixed up he went back to the racetrack to find out that the racing world had betrayed him because a lot of the the spectators and the fellow fans were interested in newer cars than him and that forced him to retire so they quit on him and I was worried that the same thing would happen to me. And you were right, Mr. McQueen. Mr. Sterling tried to quit on you. He brought you all the way to the Rusty's Racing Center just to make money off of you. I know, I thought he was going to help me. I thought he was going to help me succeed and beat Jackson Storm. But no, he betrayed me. All he wanted to do was make money off of me by selling all that merchandise of me. Yep, and it never occurred to you that this is, was also the opportunity to help me become a racer. Yep, and things worked out for both of us. Yeah, I wish Jackson I wish Jackson Storm is careful with his words. Yeah, because his words that say enjoy your retirement that made you crash. Yep, words don't have bones or you mean chassis? Yes, but they are still powerful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yep, and feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. 
I am Dusty and Rusty. And remember, don't drive like my brother. Yeah, don't drive like my brother.